Hey guys, it's Nitty from Nitty'sGames.com where I believe in playing it forward. At the end of every month, I do a giveaway. Right now, I give away $15 in a Google Play card or an Apple's iTunes card. But the bigger my channel gets, the bigger the prizes get. So go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button to join the Nitty's Games community today so those prizes can get bigger. And let somebody else know too so it can get bigger faster. Anyway, here I am in the Small Giant Games website in the forums where they are rolling out the October 2020 balance updates. Right um, Today it is October 5th, 8.44 a.m. in California. And they are going to roll out these updates at 6 a.m. UTC, which is on October 7th, which translates into um, 11 p.m. October 5th for me in California. I'm sorry, October 6th. So that translates for me as uh, 11 p.m. on October 6th in California, which means... Um, 12, 1, 2, about 2, 2 a.m. on October 7th on the East Coast. Just kind of translating it for, for, for us here in America. What else did I want to do with this video? I just wanted to go through and see the changes and just go over with you. In case you don't want to read it, you can just listen to it. Hey, listen to it instead of read it. Mm -hmm. But you can go to your inbox. Let me show you how to do that. The way I got here was... I woke up this morning and in my inbox was this nice gift of a whole bunch of emblems and reset emblems and food bundles and iron bundles, okay? And then I clicked on this more info button. I'm going to do that right now. And then it went here. So you can read it yourself if you like. More ways to get emblems. They're just going to give more emblems. I read it this morning. They're, basically, my opinion of this is that they're going to give more emblems everywhere they give emblems. It's just going to be more of them. How much more of them, they don't say. Another change is that the, the emblems will cost less in food and iron. But the emblems won't cost less. Like For the, for the nodes... That costs 125 emblems. I bet it still costs costs 125 emblems to get through that node. But they're going to be giving away more emblems. They're going to be a little less greedy with the emblems. Which is great. So, oh, that does say the total amount of class emblems received from these sources is doubled. Oh. Okay. New emblem packs added to the shop. Okay. <laughs> Reset emblems will now refund not only the emblems but 20% of the food and iron costs. In addition to the emblems. They don't say how that's going to be. But I guess you'll get it in bundles. Because if your food and iron are full. Who can like. Who has storage for that much food and iron. In what they give you. The next change that's going to happen. Is in summons appearance, summon appearance rates. To the legendary classic hero decreased. Which is good. Because that means. To get the legendary pass hero of the month. The odds increase and I'll go ahead and do that calculation on a video when it's time <laughs> are you happy about that Phoenix yes yes and I'll tell you what it turns out to be in gems and what it turns out to be in dollars because to get, right now to get a specific to get a specific hero like a jabber walk it costs about six thousand dollars so I'm not saying that those alliances are wrong that make you have a certain hero. Like, I think a lot of alliances made you have a Taloria just to join. Um, I don't know if they realize that they're asking people to drop six grand on the game. Um, yeah, six, it costs six grand to be my friend. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think, I don't know. I'm not judging. They, they can do whatever they want and you can, and you can do whatever you want. If you want to drop six grand to be someone's friend, that's fine. But if you don't want to, pay anything you can join the arrogant librarians <laughs> we have i think like 13 slots left or so okay enough of that um hero balance changes teluria direct damage decreases from 130 percent to 90 percent after this health regeneration will decrease from 306 hp to 274 inherited hp for the minions reduced from 13 percent to nine percent Okay, it's going to make her, make it so that um, 
she's not all you see in raids. Like, so boring. I have, like, a Taloria on one of my accounts, and I didn't even level her up because I'm, I'm bored with her, quite frankly. Vela, attack status ailment to all enemies decreased from negative 34% to negative 24%. Attack status ailment. Oh, attack down is decreased from negative 34 to negative 24. Okay, so that's Teleria and Vela. But Heimdall. I'm gonna what this is what I'm gonna say about the season three heroes. Most of them I was reading through, most of them, the five stars have had their attack increased. And their and um Alfreke has and Heimdall have their defense increased, but most other three stars I'd be hard pressed to find a three star or a four star that didn't have all three stats increased. Season three heroes are getting boosted by like, I don't know, eight points here, five points there. In all their statuses. In all their stats, actually. And that's pretty much what happens. Um, there's one season three hero that's not in here. Victor. Victor is a um, Halloween hero damage increases from one hundred ninety six percent to two hundred eleven. You see this in a lot of games with um, with uh, power creeps. Yeah, the old heroes have to be buffed to keep up and be as viable as the new heroes. So yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell the balance update release for October twenty twenty. It's happening as far as I'm speaking tomorrow night for me at eleven p.m. So when this video is released, I don't know, it's going to probably happen in about 24 hours. Alright, that's it for this video. I'm going to go have a good day. You do the same. Nitty out.